Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for helping you shop online safely. Today we're diving into the world of Residence Yaakwa in Sklarska Poriba, Poland. Let's take a closer look at what this apart hotel has to offer, or should I say, what it's trying to offer. First, let's talk about location. Residence Yaakwa is nestled on the edge of a forest, near the breathtaking Karkonos National Park and just a stone's throw away from the popular ski arenas Renica. A negative review from a guest mentioned, the place looks great in pictures, but finding the entrance was like a scavenger hunt. Sadly, they weren't getting a prize for that one. I rate the location a solid 6 out of 10, mainly for its scenic beauty but with a side of confusion. Moving on to the rooms, which guests have described as spacious and well-equipped. One happy visitor exclaimed, it felt like home, just without the annoying relatives. However, another guest lamented, the noise from the hallway kept me up at night. I'd give the room quality a 7 out of 10, plenty of space, but keep those earplugs handy. Now, amenities. Residence Yaakwa boasts a hot tub, spa facilities, and a fitness center. A guest remarked, the heated pool was the highlight of my stay. But, the fitness center was accurately described as, more like a room with some weights and a sad treadmill. I rate the amenities a 6 out of 10. When it comes to dining, the hotel has a restaurant. Polish cuisine is known for pierogi and bigos, but don't expect a Michelin star here. One reviewer noted, the food was decent but lacked flair. So, for food and dining, I give a 5 out of 10. Finally, let's talk about staff friendliness. Most guests found the staff warm and welcoming, though one noted, they seem to disappear during busy hours. I'd give the staff a 7 out of 10. Now, adding up all the scores, we have location 6, room quality 7, amenity 6, dining 5, and staff 7. That brings us to a total score of 31 out of 50. Unfortunately, that's not worth it. So, is Residence Yaakwa worth visiting? No, I'd say pass on this one unless you're really craving a game of where's the entrance? 